Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show how to integrate Clockify with Integramat in order to do the following. So what I like to do is I want all of my time entries that I enter into Clockify to sync to my Google Calendar. So I want them all to show up as a log in my Google Calendar. I'm gonna show you how I pretty much have been able to achieve this using Clockify integrated with Integramat. So Integramat is going to be where I can script a scenario that tells me when I do something in Clockify, make it trigger an action in my Google Calendar. Now I first had this set up with Zapier, which was easier to set up However, I ran out of free zaps and Integramat, you get a lot more. With the free plan, you actually get a thousand operations per month, which is way more than I need. That's why I moved over. I couldn't find any tutorials walking me through the process and I really wanted that. So that's why I'm making this video. To get started in Clockify, go over to your profile settings and then we're gonna need the API key and we're gonna need the webhooks down here. So I'm gonna keep this open for that reason and then let's go over to Integramat. I just made a free account here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the scenarios and I'm going to create a new scenario. So you can only do two of them for free. So what I ended up doing was I ended up triggering whenever I created a manual entry and whenever I stopped a timer. So if I update an entry, for example, that will not sync to my Google Calendar because there's no trigger for that. You can only do two of them for free and I ran into complications when I tried other ones. So the different triggers you can set up, if you go back to your Clockify and you click on manage webhooks, you'll see what you can set set up. So these events are what you can trigger. So I have, I don't care when the timer started, when the timer stops, I want it to create a Google Calendar event for anything that I just did. So I have one for the timer stopped by me because I'm the only one in my account. And also whenever I create a time entry manually. So those are the two that I have set up. I don't have the updated setup that wasn't working well anyway. If it's deleted, that's not gonna sync. All these other things I didn't really care about. Again, I only set up two of them because you can set up two for free. And the two that I set up was when the timer is stopped and when the time entry was created by me. So that's what I'm gonna be showing in this video. So why don't we start with a uh, timer stopped, okay. So then you can just enter the webhook name, Integramat Timer is what I had called it, and then you need the endpoint URL. You're gonna get that from Integramat. So let me show you how that works. You're gonna create a new scenario, and the first thing you're gonna trigger is the Clockify. So look up Clockify, and then press Continue, and then go ahead and click on Clockify. What you wanna do is you wanna watch the time entries. As soon as one of these things happens, you want it to trigger something. So watch time entries. And then for the webhook, click on add. And here's where you might need to add the connection for the first time. If I click on the add, that's where you can paste in the API key. Again, to get to the API key, I just had that in my settings in Clockify all the way down at the bottom. Okay, but I already have that set up. So now what I can do is I can just add a new webhook. And so you would just add a webhook name. The connection is whatever you just connected it with that API key, press save. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this URL. So just copy the address to the clipboard and then go back to your Clockify and paste in that hook, .integramat.com, whatever it is, and then press create. All right, I already have mine done here, as you can see. So once I do that, I'll press okay for now, then you're gonna add another module and I'm going to add my Google Calendar. What I wanna do for this one is I want to create an event. Every time I stopped my Clockify timer, what I want it to do is I want it to create an event and I chose in detail. And then for the calendar ID, I chose the calendar that I wanted to link it to and then in the event name field, I used the description because whatever I set my description in Clockify, that's what I wanted the title of my calendar entry to be. So that's what I did there. And then for start date, I just used the timer interval start. And for end date, 
I used the timer interval n. And that was all I did, that's it. And then I pressed okay. Once all that was done, I ran it once to make sure that it worked. And then I turned on the scheduling and I just scheduled that immediately. So let me go back to show you, I can't make any more of them because I already have my two turned on. But if I go into this, then you can see my scheduling's turned on and my schedule settings is immediately. So as soon as it detects that I made in this one a manual entry in this case, it's going to create a Google Calendar event and it works immediately and in real time. One mistake that I did make, I thought maybe I would do at regular intervals and do every 15 minutes in case I made any changes. The problem is that then Integromat actually runs every 15 minutes and you get a thousand of them per month, a thousand runs. And so if it triggers it every 15 minutes, it's triggering it a bunch of times a day versus if I just do immediately, then it only triggers when I actually take one of these actions, which is much less. So I recommend keeping immediately on. So I guess now that I'm in the manual entry, you do the same thing for the manual one. So you have to create two different scenarios, one for the timer entries, which I just showed you, and then you're gonna create another one for the manual entries using the same process, except when you set up the Clockify, make sure that you set up another webhook. So you need to add a new webhook with a different name, okay? So you need to have a webhook for the manual, you need to have a separate webhook for the timer, and then you're gonna copy this URL, you're gonna go back over to your webhooks and Clockify, you're gonna create new again, and this time the event is going to be when the time entry is created manually, and you're gonna paste in the endpoint URL there. So that's the only difference. Other than that, I set up the Google Calendar part of this one exactly the same as I had done the other one with the description, the start of the time interval and the end of the time interval. That was all I did. So don't worry about turning on any of these mappings, keep them off and just choose from the drop down list. And that's really all you have to do. Once you get it set up, it's quite easy. Again, the key is just setting up two scenarios and making sure that you have the two separate webhooks created in Clockify. I hope this is helpful if you're trying to set up a similar type of integration. And that's it for this video. Bye.